All right, this is from uh, The Daily Wire. It says, Elon Musk is weighing in on the new Amazon series, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. And it sounds like the billionaire Tesla CEO is not a fan. Tolkien is turning in his grave, Musk tweeted Monday in response to the series, which just released episodes uh, on uh, uh, two episodes last Thursday. Almost every male character so far is a coward, a jerk, or both. Only Galadriel is, I guess that's a Lord of the Rings character, is brave, smart, and nice. Now, this is part of an overall kind of backlash, I guess, I guess, against the Lord of the Rings series. Daily Wire has also has this report. There's been a lot of hype leading up to Amazon's Lord of the Rings adaptation, The Rings of Power. But now some fans are saying it's a huge flop. The series premiered the first two episodes. Thursday currently has an 84% critic rating and a 36% audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes. This certainly isn't the first time critics and viewers disagreed on whether a show was a triumph or a fail. But some reviewers are accusing fans of being racist for their one-star reviews. Of course, we knew that was going to happen. A writer for The Hollywood Reporter likened these reviewers to miserable little trolls who were review bombing the series simply because casting directors chose to add black actors into it. So this is, this is the narrative now that we're getting from the media. I haven't watched this show. I have no interest in watching it. And I'm a fan of Lord of the Rings, actually. But it's because I'm a fan of Lord of the Rings that I'm not going to watch Amazon's version of it. And I, and I, I said this from the very beginning, the first time they announced the series. I was warning everyone, it's going to be a disappointment. It is going to disappoint you. Because Hollywood in the year 2022 d- does not have the ability. I mean, it would, it would be, in any era, it would be very difficult to make a Lord of the Rings series, which, it, yes, maybe it's based on some of Tolkien's work, but you're basically telling your own story, and now we're going to stack it up against one of the classic fantasy novels of all time, fantasy series of all time. So in any era of Hollywood, um, that's a lot to ask. I mean, you're, you're almost doomed to fail already. But especially in this era, it's just, it's impossible that the series can be good. Uh, They don't have the capacity to tell these kinds of stories anymore. And when I say capacity, I don't mean from a financial perspective. They got all the money in the world. They spent a billion dollars on this series. Uh, Which, by the way, you don't hear a lot of complaints from, from the left about that. You know, they say about like Elon Musk, when he made an offer for Twitter, they said, well, why don't you, you could have taken that money and solved world hunger. Well, Amazon spent a billion dollars on a, on a TV show. How much world, how much of world hunger could they have solved with that? But they've got the money, but they don't have, there's not the, uh, there's not the, the spiritual capacity to tell stories like this anymore in Hollywood. But the narrative is that uh, the, the people don't like the show because there are some black actors in it. And of course, because, you know, the, the people that are watching Lord of the Rings, it's the first time they've seen a black actor in a show, and they're all racist, and so that's why they have a problem with it. Then you, you go and you read the audience reviews, and what you see, not surprisingly, is that almost all of them don't like the show because they think it's boring, they don't like how it's written, and all of those things. Yeah, I looked at some of the reviews. I didn't see one person complain about the fact that there's a black actor. Now, with that said, audiences at this point have a very low tolerance for anything that even smells woke. Like the minute there's a hint of wokeness, and of course, just having a black actor doesn't mean that you're trying to do something woke. But the minute there's a hint of it, like if there's a hint that they put a character in the show just for, for no, not because it advances a story, but just for diversity concerns. The minute there's even a hint of that, audiences are repelled, and for good reason, because we're sick of it. Though I don't think that's the primary complaint here. Well, before you go, uh, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And while you're at it, if you want to go watch or listen to my full show, head to dailywire.com and subscribe. You can also catch my show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. So go check it out now. I demand it. Your compliance is somewhat appreciated.